Hey everybody, it's Josh and Ben, and this is another vlog for the 2023 Atlantis Caribbean Harmony of the Seas cruise. And before you watch the rest of this video, don't forget to do us a big favor. Hit that subscribe button, that like, that comment, and that notification bell if you want to see when new videos drop. So a lot of people definitely think that the gay cruises are 100% just like party, sex, drugs, alcohol, and all that stuff. And yes, it is on the ship, but I really want to show people who never been on a gay cruise that there's so many more things to do, and that is not the whole experience. That is just a part of the experience. And one of the great things about going on a gay cruise is experiencing the day excursions with other gay travelers like yourself. And so we booked a submarine excursion. I've never been on a submarine. It would happen to be called the Atlantis submarine, which is kind of funny considering that Atlantis events puts on the Atlantis gay cruise. So we're on our way right now to the submarine. And I hope that you see in this video that there's so many other things to do besides get half naked and dance on the dance floor. And one of the most important things to do, if, especially if you're on one of the more tropical cruises or any type of cruise, because you're out in the open ocean and even though it could be overcast or not so sunny, it's always really important to make sure that you're always putting sunscreen on. So if you're going on an excursion or you're just on a ship in general, make sure you pack sunscreen. Really important pro tip for being on the ocean. So here we are. We uh, finally got boated from our ship, Harmony of the Seas, to the submarine. And uh, on the way out, the, the, the captain was basically entertaining us and telling us, uh, you know, landmarks and different things that we're seeing on the way. So we're going to get into the ship now. The ship. Why am I saying the ship? We're going to get into the submarine. 40 men, 40 gay men on a submarine. I mean, 40 gay men in a submarine. <laughs> So I'm going to go into what I thought about this excursion. If you have never been on a submarine, no, you're not going to be claustrophobic. As you can see here, it's literally like being in a small airplane, the same experience you would have in an airplane with a bunch of people really close to you. And you can see that one of the things that I hope you're noticing in that those quick clips is that one of the beauties of taking these excursions is most of the other fellows from the Atlantis cruise will be on it and you have an opportunity then to meet other gay travelers or people who are experiencing the same excursion as you. And that's really nice because if you took a straight charter or a straight cruise, you wouldn't, I mean, you definitely meet new people, but you don't get to meet people from our community as frequently as being on a gay cruise. So I definitely, uh, it was really cool to see like all the coral and stuff you know, in, you know, it's basically like being at the submarine ride at Disneyland, except for you weren't on the rails. It was a really cool experience. I definitely recommend that you try this if you've never done it. I would also add that, um, yeah, it's something that you can experience once. I don't necessarily think I would probably book this again, but I'm glad I booked it. And I would tell you, if you've never been on one, definitely book it. But it's not one of those, those excursions that you need to do twice, unless you really, really liked it. I really liked it, but I prefer probably next time I'll take a scuba diving or a snorkeling trip because there's those as well. But it was an opportunity to go on a submarine, and I, in my whole life, I had never been in a submarine. And of course, anytime you go on an excursion, there's always somebody who's a tour guide and they're going to be speaking during your trip. And that's what we experienced here. Really great group of tour guides. We enjoyed them. And we did have opportunity to see two sunken ships. Uh, never seen a sunken ship anytime I've been snorkeling, so this was a really unique experience. It's actually the thing that motivated me to go on this excursion. I just was like, I need to see a sunken ship in water, you know, but <laughs> it was cool. Like I said, I would, I'm glad I did it. Probably wouldn't book this again for a second time. Definitely recommend doing it, though. In regard to the wildlife, the ocean wildlife, you're not going to see that. I mean, we did see quite a few fish, but it was nothing extraordinary. But it was nice to see, but nothing, don't expect anything great. And then now we are headed back to the Harmony of the Seas, the rendezvous with 5,500 other gay travelers. And I forgot to mention, we took this excursion at the port of Aruba. So one of the things I want to point out is if you're 
like on Lavali, we got off the, the ship and immediately was able to get on the beach. So if you're not able to immediately get off the beach on a port cruise, you need to book something. You need transportation or some type of excursion. So Harmon Hissies does have a carousel and we did go on it. And, you know, this just hope reinforces to you, I'm going to show you a few things here, that on these ships there's so much to do besides just go party. So the gay cruises do have the party scene. They do have that fun aspect, but there's other things to do and they don't, those party things don't take up the entire day every day. There's lots of time to do other things. So here's that dry slide, that really tall, like seven, eight story dry slide that's in the back of the aqua theater. And it is a lot of fun. And you can see another activity that doesn't require partying or drinking. Here we are zip lining on Harmony of the Seas. Who would have thought that a cruise ship would have that? There's Ben going nuts on the zip line, having a great time. And that's included. All these activities you don't have to pay extra for. It's all part of your package when you go on a gay cruise. Whatever amenities your ship has, it will be included. The massage parlor is not included, folks. <laughs> and there's Dell. He's having a good time, too, and really enjoying himself. So there's a lot to do on these ships. You know, I just hope that you understand that when you go on a cruise, what you see in the party things, and I think that's what most gay people see, that doesn't encompass the whole experience. And here we are in the sunset. I want to say thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Hit that notification button. And thank you for watching.